being joined by a couple of ladies uh, that are involved in a program that is going to put a smile on your face. Yeah, I like the sounds of this. We have uh, Lori Myron Manbeck, who is uh, CEO and founder of Inclusivity PBC, correct? Thank you. And then we have Ashley Renstrom Schaefer joining us this morning, um, and you're kind of the, the spearheader behind this uh, event. Yeah, I'm kind of the spearheader. We did a similar event in Minneapolis last year. So we had 10 days of kindness in Minneapolis, um, during which we asked people to post kind acts online, and then we had a party. And so I, it was fun, and I part of my job during that event was to read these, po these kind acts that were posted. And so it really highlighted for me how important kindness is and how much of a difference it makes. What inspired That's getting the program started? We actually had the Super Bowl in Minneapolis last year. Oh, that's and right. we decided yeah. we wanted to do something to sort of um, parallel the Super Bowl that was really focused on being good to each other and taking care of each other. So it started because of that, and then it was just a lot of fun. And I'm a pretty positive, forward-thinking person anyway, mm -hmm. but this made me focus on kindness even more and think more about how it changes things and changes the world. So I went to Grinnell College, so I actually decided I wanted to do this somewhere else, and I thought, what better place than Grinnell? It's a small town, the college is wonderful, the people are terrific. So I approached the college and said, would you work with me on this? And they jumped in, Ashley jumped in, um, and we've been kind of running ever since. And what was very cool is that we then approached the Chamber of Commerce and they were right on board as well. Wow. So now the entire, co the entire town. The town, community, huh? The college, the churches, the schools, everyone is doing kind acts for these 10 days. How That's great. That? And yeah, do you find that cool. just kind of having that prompt uh, or just more awareness that it really yeah. does? Because there are a lot of kind people out there trying yes. to do kind things, but just having this kind of in front of them that you see that make a difference? Well, it's, it's incredibly important because we know that um, if you see negative words, which we hear all the time mm -hmm. right now and we see all the time, for every negative statement you hear, you need to hear three positive statements to counteract it, even to level things out. So think by and the end of the day, how much? Exactly. <laughs> and so <laughs> our goal... Don't open Twitter, basically, is what you're <laughs> well, saying. Or, right or right Facebook yeah, or really yeah. anything. Yeah. Yeah. So our goal is to say, let's blanket the town with kindness and have everyone speaking and thinking about it because the research is really strong that it matters. Mm -hmm. Um, the research is really strong that if we're kind and consciously kind and intentionally kind, mm -hmm. it makes our self-esteem better, it makes us have better relationships with other people, and it makes us take a pause before we react negatively. So it affects us in tremendous ways. All and that's good. sort of all you mentioned that I'm the CEO of Inclusivity, and that's really what our company is all about, is about spreading kindness and justice in every way. Now, we this is up and going. Uh, we're this in what, day, day four, is that right? Day four, and we have events happening all over town every single day, um, sponsored by 25 plus community partners. So um, the community really got involved and supported yeah. it. Talk about some of the events that yeah. you have going on. So uh, today, for instance, we have a Be Kind to Pollinators event where students and kids and families can go and help create seed balls. And um, that'll be thrown during Ragbri, actually. Oh, um, great. Oh, nice. To help support uh, milkweed growth. Oh, good job out of you. Hands. That's one so of our favorites. Like yeah, That's right. mm -hmm. we love that. It's cold outside. Get your kids, let them get messy and make some seed balls. That's at the stew at 430 today. We have um, showings of Wonder, the film about a boy with a facial disfigurement. It's yeah, really great beautiful. movie. Great movie. Um, free showings of that. We have a meet and greet at the police and fire department on Thursday from 3:30 to uh, 6:30, where they get cookies and they get to get a picture in the fire truck or a police car. And there's just so many great ways that they can get involved. We're hoping that every day each person can either do a kind act come to an event mm -hmm. or just find a or way be to be the recipient it. of a kind yeah. act, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is day four, like you mentioned. How does this compare to what happened in Minneapolis last year? Well, in Minneapolis, we really only had people post online. So it really was mostly online posting. Okay. And then we had a big party at the end. So this is tremendous. And our, our goal is that this is sort of a prototype that then other mm -hmm. communities can pick up and do next year. Right. So that there'll be 10 days of kindness around the entire country next year. Wow. So, yeah. so you're at Grinnell, so the entire right, community Grinnell. of Grinnell. I would suggest calling Mount Vernon, Iowa, and tell the Cornell people that what you're doing, <laughs> and they'll try to uh, do what you guys are doing. Yeah. They can never do it as well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I beg to differ, go. but uh, <laughs> no, no, that's a great thing. 
so if you know we, we say oh be kind today give us maybe some of the top ways that we can express that mm -hmm. kindness for somebody that maybe needs an idea or two well I would say even smiling at somebody is huge looking somebody in the eye because we all want to be seen and one of the kindest ways you mm -hmm. can treat someone is just to notice them mm -hmm. take a second take a pause we're always rushing so much mm -hmm. right. and so just to, to do this matters to people mm -hmm. and can change their entire day and their entire outlook what I like to say to people is that you never have any idea what your impact is going to be. I work in geriatric psychology as sure. my other job, and I tell people all the time, you feel like you're not contributing anymore, but you contribute by sitting here and looking at me. Mm -hmm. You contribute by listening to what I'm saying. And so I think that that for me is the core of this is every single person can be kind. Yeah. You don't need a special talent. You just need to pause and take a breath and look at the other person. And just how powerful just a smile yeah. is. A smile it, is it makes huge. a big yeah, difference. Yeah, the, the three to one ratio is still sticking with me uh, yeah. that we talked about earlier about one negative response needs at least three, if not more, yes. positive responses to yes. kind of negate it. Well, and in fact, if it's a family member or a close friend, it's five. Wow. So if it's a stranger mm -hmm. and you see them do something negative, the other cool thing about kindness that I want to just say is that you don't even have to do it yourself. Witnessing it, hearing about it, doing it yourself or receiving it all have the same positive it effects. It feels good just talking about it here. It, it, it really, it does. really it does. It, it's, it's pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. Well, the things that folks are doing in Grinnell, thank you for doing that. Uh, you're making a difference uh, more than you can ever imagine. We're really excited awesome. about it. Now, people want to find out more about this. They want to get Sounds information like some about, fabulous yeah, events going to, on, yeah, and yeah. they've got still another six days yeah. uh, where it's carrying on. So tell everybody where they can kind of find a listing sure. of all of that. So the easiest place for you to find more information about any of these events is on our Facebook page. We have a 10 Days of Kindness in Grinnell Facebook page. That's really all you need to type in is 10 Days of Kindness in Grinnell. And it'll pop right up, and you can see every event happening, and you can also post your own kind acts there. There you go. Well, one yeah. I love it. Thank you Thank so you much so for much. coming here. And uh, the one good thing that we, we do realize is that you won't be using much gas on the way home because I think the wind will be at your back <laughs> as, you, as you head back <laughs> to the here today. So just drive carefully. <laughs> good to know. Thank you so much. Thank, yes, you, thank so you. much. Thank you. Beautiful.